So my workshop needed advice, and I found one on the street, but it was rusted solid. So today, I'm going to refurbish it and put it right here, right in the workshop. Let's go. So what we've got here is actually a rusted bench vise that I found on the street. Um, these photos were taken after I was able to actually pry it apart, unfortunately I lost the footage beforehand. You can see the condition that it was in, it was kind of rusted, it was all seized up and it's got a lot of pitting on it. So what I did initially was to put it actually in some boiling water and I was told that as the energy goes into the metal, it actually fuses the rust back together and then you scrape off everything else. And that's actually what I'm about to do here. So this is my attempt at doing it by hand. And then I got very, very wise and decided that I would do it in a completely different way. You can see all the loose rust coming straight off. This was a really new technique for me, but I was really surprised at how beautifully it came up. Just using a orbital sander, just get remove some of that rust. And a grinder I found came really handy to just smooth out those edges and just clean this piece up really quickly. I was really surprised at how quickly this piece actually came about. It restored it in just under about two hours. Cleaning out the holes, we were using a Sharpie and just some sandpaper. This is another cool trick that Steve showed me in the shop. A hell of a lot easier than trying to get a brush in there, that's for sure. And here we're actually now checking to make sure that the threads work. This is a really interesting piece. As I said, someone threw it out on the street. Uh, it needed some cleanup. It was seized because of rust, but surprisingly, it came back really, really easily. Here I am just finishing off that second piece and then wire brushing all the loose particles off it. Give me a quick wipe down with some methylated spirits before painting. Easily this vice would have been sitting in someone's garage for the next 10 years. using some Rust-Oleum blue paint there. Got some great comments on Instagram about the color of this piece. Just put in the final touches. getting rid of all the tape. See how that final look came out. I was really happy with how this piece worked. It. Those guide bars, I guess, that's the right name for them. Just getting all the masking off that. I mean, when we first took this piece apart and you were seeing those original photos, this stuff was black, tarnished, and full of rust. And again, just using a wire brush and the grinder, we were able to get the surface back really nicely. Last piece here. 
and already it looks like a, a piece that you would have bought. It was really fun doing this. Putting it all back together. Castan look great in this color. Really look fantastic. Time to put a little pin into the thread so that it actually stays in place using a tap hammer to do that. And that pin's just made out of an old nail we were able to find that fit. I want to make sure that it would actually stay in place, so I'm using a, a punch to actually push it to the side so that it wouldn't freely come out. And now it'll actually stay in place so that those top jaws will actually move in and out when it's bolted to the table. Time for some soft jaws. Just found some wood, marking it out. pre-drilling because I didn't want to crack it. <laughs> I don't think we had any more wood after that. I believe it's a little bit of oak. Screws go in. This piece is done. Just checking to make sure that it'll still move. I'm really happy with how this came out. In fact, this is something that I wanted to restore for my workshop. I didn't have a vise on my table at all and I now have one, which is fantastic. This came out even uh, just waiting for the paint to dry, coming the next day and seeing how this came up, I was absolutely astounded. I'm extremely happy about this and I'm glad I was able to give some more life to an old tool 